Okay, well, I'm on a highway. I wanted to show you uh, that the autopilot uh, in uh, the Tesla Model 3 um, gives you pretty um, stark warnings, I think, every minute. So we're going to engage autopilot here. And uh, we'll have a timer uh, on uh, the video. And I'm almost positive it's going to be every minute or a minute and four seconds. I've timed it with a stopwatch, and it looked like it was about every minute, minute and four seconds about that we're going to get a little warning. So we'll see how that comes out um, in this video. And then I'm going to try to like adjust speed and do some things with my Model S. I noticed that if I was adjusting speed or changing lanes, that it would preempt the uh, three minute warning. It was three minutes with my Model S Hardware 1. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see one minute warnings here in the Model 3. Um, I'd love to know if somebody could comment if they have a Hardware 2 Model S, if they also are getting uh, one minute warnings with whatever recent update they might have received. Yep, there's the first one. I think that was a minute. I'm going to wiggle the wheel. And uh, we should get another one um, in another minute. So an autopilot, it adjusts your speed based on traffic in front of you. And um, we're not, we're a little crowded today, not too bad. So we're, we're doing pretty good here. I think at, uh, I'm, I'm watching the clock on my uh, phone. I think in about uh, 20 minute, 20 seconds, we should get another warning. The other thing I noticed, <clears throat> and I'll do that, I'm not touching the uh, wheel at all in these first two tests, um, but when I played with this the other day, I noticed that if I just had my hands on the wheel without actually like wiggling the wheel, uh, it recognized, there it goes, yep, right on time, two minutes, I'm going to wiggle the wheel. Uh, we'll let it do it one more time, and then what I'm going to do is try um, speed up and speed down, uh, and maybe a lane change to see if that has any effect on the uh, minute warning. So what I was saying was I noticed that if I just had my hands on the wheel, probably giving some feedback because my hand is actually um, on the wheel and potentially uh, giving a little bit of resistance, very minor resistance to whatever steering it's trying to perform, it, could pro it must be able to sense that my hands are on the wheel. I don't think there's any power um, or any um, conductive uh, thing. I actually don't know, so uh, we should be getting a warning pretty soon. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to wiggle the wheel, and uh, in about uh, halfway through, I am going to adjust my speed this time and see if uh, I get to go for longer than a minute. So I guess we're about halfway through, so I am gonna throttle down here. I'm gonna have to go down pretty low. Just to get it to uh, slow down, because we're in a lot of traffic, and then I'm gonna throttle up warning should be coming up, my uh, one minute warning. Should be somewhere around here. So I'm going to just keep adjusting. It's a pretty dumb test, but nope. So that, that no longer uh, has any effect on the minute warning. Now we're going to try to change lanes. And actually, uh, I'm curious how lane change works. Got a car coming. 
but I guess it was sort of far away, so it, it took that. Another nice feature of the uh, blinker automatic lane change is that it turns off your blinker. If somebody could comment, again, I cannot remember in my Model S if when you change lanes, does it um, um, turn off the blinker after you get in the lane? I honestly cannot remember. So I'm gonna change lanes again. It is much faster in changing lanes. Uh, and I've got to try a lane change and we should be up to close to a minute test now. Uh, so let's see if the lane change had an effect. I should be very close to that minute. I'm gonna change lanes while we're waiting on that minute warning. And it looks like uh, we did extend the minute warning, so I'll just keep changing lanes. People around me are gonna think I'm nuts. I'm gonna speed up also. I'm on a little slow here. But um, we are definitely beyond a minute now. Change lanes back. So it looks like uh, your changing of lanes does uh, extend your warning period. I don't know whether it resets to a whole new minute. So I just changed lanes, we'll let it run, and we'll see if it's about a minute from that last lane change. Um, and it's acting like it is. I will just uh, hang here. Sorry for the length of this video, but I wanted to uh, figure this out. Yep, I bet you that was about a minute, so... Um, Looks like your lane change resets the minute timeout. Um, I'll have to confirm that on the video. I didn't actually uh, record it uh, or time it there, but it's felt like about a minute. Um, so that's uh, the new autopilot. Lots of more warnings. And oh, now what I'm gonna do is um, uh, hold my hands on the wheel um, and not steer the car, but keep my hands on the wheel. And I think just the act of holding the wheel probably does give a little bit of resistance to the um, sensors that are trying to detect whether I'm steering or the car steering. And I have a feeling this is also going to extend the timeout. I'd be very curious if it completely eliminates the timeout or it goes to like a three minute timeout. So this is a good test. Uh, I wiggled the wheel uh, a little while back and then uh, within I think 20 seconds or 30 seconds I grabbed the wheel. I'm holding the wheel somewhat firmly, not overly, but my hands on the wheel. I can feel the wheel turning and uh, very slightly um, as it's driving and it's auto steering. So I um, have a feeling it can detect that my hands are on the wheel. And this is pure speculation. I'm gonna increase my speed here. I believe it can detect that my hands are on the wheel as it makes micro, uh, wheel movements automatically and it feels a slight amount of resistance just because my hands on the wheel and it's trying to turn it uh, underneath me um, I can't believe they have some type of uh, 
sensor built into the wheel that can detect my hand grip or body temperature. But it could. It, it, it might. I don't know how I'd be able to tell the difference. I guess just hold it extremely softly uh, and see if that... Here's a situation. Uh, I came up fast. It, it detected that car a little late. I can't remember what I have my... Uh, uh, following distance set to. I think I dropped it down to one. One somewhat uh, annoying uh, feature is that if I go into controls and autopilot, sorry about that, I wanted to keep my hand on the wheel, um, the following distance, I set it down to two, uh, is two clicks away. Uh, it used to be a twist of the uh, stick. And um, I used to adjust it occasionally between like two and four, keeping it at three most of the time. But sometimes I would want just to get a little closer to the car in front of me. So I would make minor adjustments. By the way, I am well over a minute, maybe even two minutes, and I have not gotten the warning. So this is going to be nice. Uh, I don't recall if I ever did this test with my Model S. So again, Model S owners out there, if you're watching, um, it would be nice to know if uh, in autopilot, I'm pretty sure you have a three minute warning. Every three minutes you get the warning. Uh, if you just keep your hands on the wheel, don't steer actually to, and cause if you did steer with, uh, if, you, if you did actually move to steer, you're gonna disengage autopilot. There's uh, two ways, <clears throat> excuse me, two ways to disengage autopilot. One is to actively steer the car, and two is to press the brake. But with just your hands on the wheel, will it uh, disable the three-minute warning in, uh, on the Model S? Because it seems like it's doing it on the uh, Model 3 with autopilot hardware 2. I had hardware 1 on my S. So this is good. This is uh, really nice. Um, I was a little upset getting the one minute warning constantly. Um, I was used to, I apologize up front, I was used to taking my hands off the wheel completely under autopilot. And um, when you do that with uh, this new autopilot, you're going to get a wiggle alert every minute. And uh, actually, I think um, about four days ago, I uh, got locked out. If you get three uh, big warnings, meaning uh, it starts with a little message, then it starts blinking, and then I think it beeps. Um, if you get three of those, I believe it's three. Uh, that'll be another video, I guess. Um, autopilot gets locked out. Now, I remember in my Model S Hardware 1, the lockout was until I just put the car into park. I read yesterday that the new autopilot, you actually have to put uh, the car, put a charger on the car for it to re-engage autopilot. So <laughs> I'll have to test that also. Um, that would be really annoying. But I guess uh, if you're bad, they want to let you know you're bad. I'm going to take my hand off the wheel for a second. Just turn that off. Um, and it looks like it's uh, running good here without uh, any kind of warning. So um, this is nice. Uh, I've been reading about the Cadillac uh, Super Cruise and the difference. Uh, both test both Tesla and Cadillac have a mechanism to detect if you're um, alert or watching the road. So Tesla's method is clearly that you have to have your hands on the wheel and again somehow it's detecting that my hands are on the wheel. I don't honestly know how. With the uh, Super Cruise they have a little camera right here looking at your eyes and uh, it says that uh, it can um, determine if your eyes are focused forward 
uh, and I saw a video where the guy just looked to the right uh, at his uh, passenger and it uh, detected that he wasn't uh, watching the road so it dis disabled the uh, Super Cruise. Another big difference with Super Cruise that I read was that uh, they do it not solely like Tesla does with cameras uh, and radar they do it with uh, mapping of highways, uh, like LIDAR mapping. I don't think it has a LIDAR uh, device on it, but it uses GPS and LIDAR maps, which are very, very detailed maps of roads, and they've only really mapped all the major highways. So it doesn't work on any kind of local road. And then even, I think they imply that some highways may not be mapped yet, um, or um, like half highways. I'm going to put my blinker on here, change lanes. And so uh, their Super Cruise is not available uh, on as many roads and clearly not available on local roads, whereas Tesla's is. Now, you shouldn't really use it on local roads, but um, it is convenient on some local highways, I'll call them, which are not major highways. So I'm going to see, well, that's interesting, it slowed down, oh, it slowed down because of this um, car here, and I just took over, <clears throat> I think um, it went to change lanes and it slowed down dramatically, I think it was because the car in front of me slowed down that it was trying to get behind, so that was just my uh, mistake of uh, not letting it. Okay, that's... Uh, uh, autopilot's new uh, one minute warning which can be looks like it can be uh, not disabled but uh, it can be not annoying if you simply just hold the wheel I'll have to experiment a little bit more with uh, how um, much you actually have to hold the wheel or how uh, strongly you have to hold the wheel take care everybody so from this test, I've determined if you hold onto the steering wheel or use your blinkers uh, to change lanes, you can extend the one minute warning almost indefinitely. I went nine minutes without any warning. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other videos, they're here in the top right. And uh, my son's channel, The Nerd Writer, is here on the top left. Check it out. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.